All right, uh, I'm Dave Ratt, and um, today I'm going to talk about some of the CAT system that uh, the Sound Tools division of Rat Sound manufactures. Uh, Sound Tools started Sound Tools to make really simple, useful products, stuff that we needed for our rental department that solve problems or um, offer advantages. And um, unlike other things out there, this is the Cat Snake box. It's an Ethercon in, Ethercon out, or uh, Cat 5 in, Cat 5 out, uh, using shielded cable. It runs four lines of balanced XLR audio down a single Cat 5 cable. Uh, this is the Cat Tails, Ethercon in, and four channels of balanced XLR audio. There's a rack mount version as well, which is basic, slightly different version. It's um, three of those bridged together. They mount together, they come apart and turn into boxes as well. The rack ears are removable. Ethercon in and out on each of the box. So this is 12 channels of audio down three cat, cat, uh, cat 5 or Cat 6 shielded cables or they can be bridged together and you can have four and you can have ins and outs and um, just real simple to use. I did a video on uh, cable lengths and showing that uh, Cat5 cables good at transmitting uh, AES EBU over long lengths. Uh, digital audio is um, very high frequency and Cat cable is a commodity. It's very inexpensive and it's actually cheaper than um, audio cable. And so to buy uh, Cat cable and Ethernet, you can buy, we, we make some quality Ethercon um, cables. And you can actually have multi pins with disconnects for a much lower price than, um, and uh, much thinner, lighter, easier to carry, and carries uh, um, did, uh, AES farther than um, conventional audio cable. So it's kind of a cool solution. But I get this question a lot is can we run Clearcom down it or can we run AES? Can we mix different types of signals? So I'm going to set up a quick demo of mixing some different signal types. So let's start it off with this is a hundred meter chunk of shielded Cat5 cable. Plug it into the box and plug it into the tails. The first thing we'll do is make a big mess. Here's a we'll run analog audio on channels one and two. Plug it into my phone. Turn my phone on. Hit the password. And let's play some music. And let's try some how about Iggy Pop? We like Iggy Pop. Um, sorry about the delay here. Stooges, there we go. And TBI, fire that up. And let's get a little mixing board. Oof. Pop that here. Got the power cable. Plug that into there. Plug in one and two into here. One and two. Got a pair of headphones. Plug those in here. I don't know if you can hear that. We got some music going, stereo, sounds like Iggy Pop, my headphones. Um, quality is good, I've tested with other stuff, so you probably can't tell with Iggy Pop. All right, let's get some, um, how about AES? Let's run some AES down there. And we'll come out of an AES tester box into channel three. And channel three, back into the box. Turn the music off for a second, turn that on. 
Okay, 48, 96, and 192 AES running down there. Turn that off. Um, and how about some ClearCom? Here's a really old ClearCom unit that we bought in an auction. And sound company called Rockshire Sound is going out of business, or all this stuff was auctioned, some kind of embezzlement thing. It's the first ClearCom system I ever bought back, oh, I don't know, early 80s, I guess. Um, now we need a mic cable. Coming out of here. And into channel 4. And out of four, let's grab a belt pack. Here's an old belt pack we bought at the same time. Plug that in. Make a big mess. Do this fast and easy. Hello, hello. All right, that clear comms working. Hello, hello. And AES EBU. It's working. Music's working. Everything. And there you have it. Two an lines of analog, AES, which is two lines as well, and ClearCom down a 100 meter cable of Cat5, all at the same time, run through the Cat Snake system. Cool.